XN 12 News at 6. 6 State Fair Park is open for business. The excitement from fans from across the state as the festivities kick off. Was it the free cream puff that got you to get the vaccine? Plus, a State Fair staple for some COVID-19 protection. The push to get more people a shot in the arm as people from across the state head to West Allis. Our numbers have continued to steadily rise. 1,500 new COVID cases reported today. That's the most in Wisconsin in one day since January. A doctor who treats critically ill COVID patients every day is urging even more people to get vaccinated. We're back at the State Fair. Yes, thank you. Still in a pandemic, but how does it feel? It feels good. I got my shot. The Wisconsin State Fair is back after a two-year wait. People are ready to celebrate. 12 News has a team of reporters at State Fair Park and overhead in News Chopper 12. Let's start with Derek Rose and Lindsay Slater. They are hosting tonight's State Fair Spotlight Special. Lindsay and Derek, it's a beautiful day for the return of the fair. You know, it's amazing, and, you know, everybody has things that they always want to do and want to eat at the fair. That's right. It was probably my favorite question to ask folks here on the fairgrounds. Take a listen to some of the answers. What are you looking forward to most from the fair this year? The cheese curds. After the cream puff, I want the loaded uh, tots. I have a whole list here. Oh, break out the list. Um, the You're a woman who comes prepared. Street corn tots at Knuckleheads. Uh-huh. And then um, deep fried pineapple express. Uh, food wise, uh, some good burgers, uh, maybe a good ham and cheese sandwich. And I love the cheese curds. Everybody loves the cheese curds. What's your favorite food at the fair? The deep fried uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. What is it about the deep fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich that you love so much? The grease. <laughs> <laughs> it is the fair after all. No, he knew. It's the one time when we can have grease and not yeah, feel ashamed. Exactly. Sauerkraut. I think it's french fries, too. Yeah. So yeah. looking forward to it. Yes, yes, yes. Anything else at the fair you're looking most forward to trying oh, food-wise? Oh, yes, we went to the Lake Farm Brewery and we tried the deep-fried um, cheese curds, cinnamon bacon cheese curds. Uh, cheese curds. Cream puffs. Funnel cake. Cream puffs. Non-stop cream puff. <laughs> Non-stop cream puff. <laughs> Non-stop cream puff. And then after the cream puff. Another cream puff. <laughs> another cream puff. <laughs> I love her. After the cream puff, another cream puff. My other favorite was, and you heard it correctly, she said the grease. The grease. Is like what dripping. she loves about the fr deep fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> it's the fair. Why not? Everything drips here. It the really sweats, does. The butter. Especially the, the grease, sweat. The sweat. Sweat, butter, grease, all of it. All right, Patrick, <laughs> we're going to send it back to you. No calories at the fair. All right, we'll talk to you guys in just a little bit. <laughs> Our coverage continues with Matt Salemi. He's over the fairgrounds in News Chopper 12. Matt? Yeah, busy day at the fair. We were here when it opened at 11, and the lines were long. The freeway and the streets around State Fair Park were packed, and you can see here the new square right in the center is uh, very busy as well. The good news is there's still plenty of parking spaces for you if you do plan to come down, and also we're not seeing any of those lines at the entrances here. I'll pan over to one of them. You can see it's pretty much walk up and walk right in as if you're making your way down here anytime soon. Matt, thank you. Anyone who gets a COVID shot at the fair will also get a free cream puff. 12 News' Hillary Minch joins us now. Hillary, any takers out there? Yes, Patrick, and not just one cream puff. You get the vaccine, you get a three-pack voucher, which you can come to right here, pick up your cream puffs. Now, some people told us, yes, it was a convenience factor coming here, getting their shot. Others told us they were debating it, and, you know, it wasn't necessarily the cream puff deal that put them over the top, but it sure did sweeten the deal. We got cream puffs and the COVID vaccine today. Incentives to get vaccinated against COVID-19 have become more and more popular, so it was only fitting at the State Fair a free cream puff or a poke. I don't feel nothing. Was it the free cream puff that got you to get the vaccine? For my wife, she loves cream puff. You did it for your wife? Yes. Was it the free cream puff? No, I didn't even know that was going to be there. Um, I actually tried to go yesterday, but they ran out at Walgreens, so I was like, oh my gosh, they're doing it here. So it's convenient for you. Yeah, it was just something I was already planning on doing. The mobile vaccine clinic offering the Pfizer or single-dose J&J &J vaccine. With the Delta variant driving cases up, this team is prepared to vaccinate as many as 250 people per day of the fair. And they're hoping word spreads fast about the opportunity. 
they're not going to run out of cream puffs and we're not going to run out of vaccines. So anytime during the course of the fair, anybody who needs it can come here. Well, Hillary, how many vaccines have been given out so far today? Well, Patrick, as of 5 o'clock, 26 people had been vaccinated. Sorry, there's some bubbles flying around here, but they're going to be here at the fair every day from 11 to 8, walk-ins ages from 12 and up. Patrick. Always something going on at the fair. Hillary Mintz reporting live. Now let's get back outside to Derek and Lindsay with all those crowds. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of crowds out here. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people. We've enjoyed meeting a lot of you guys and mm -hmm. feel free to come by and say hello. But Derek, you talked to someone in particular that has a lot to say about this particular fair. Yeah, State Fair CEO Kathleen O'Leary. She took some time out of her very busy schedule, obviously here for day one of the State Fair to help us uh, guide our viewers through getting onto the fairgrounds in a smooth process. Please buy your tickets in advance. It will help so much. It will just expedite the, you know, getting into it. All you'll need to do is get it scanned. You don't have to buy. You don't have to do any of that. So that's really my biggest tip. And my biggest other tip would be to go to our website at wistatefair.com and know before you go. Really, it'll tell you everything that's happening on the day that you're coming. But it's just, it's real important. There are adjustments this year after having, you know, a canceled fair last year. And, of course, we want you to join Lindsay and myself tonight at 6.30 for our State Fair Spotlight Special. We're going to show you what is new and the fan favorites you won't see here at the Wisconsin State Fair this year. I am so pleased to be joined by the weather Jedi herself, <laughs> That's me. Lindsay Slater, because it's been an absolutely beautiful day. Well, and Molly's the Padawan. Baden is the Emperor. <laughs> That's how we roll here. Who's Yoda? <laughs> um, uh, Patrick. The Alley Cat. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> but Molly's going to, yeah, Patrick's Captain America, let's be honest. Uh, but uh, Molly has an idea on what's going to be happening. Molly, I was really watching that lake breeze today. I was getting a little nervous. Tell me good news. Well, we made it through the lake breeze, but there's some showers off towards our west, Lindsay, that we're keeping an eye on, and I'm sure you're keeping a close eye on the radar out there as well. We're dry in Milwaukee right now, but a few showers closer to Beaver Dam, moving towards Fond du Lac and Oshkosh right now. It's really what's west of Madison. I'm going to keep my eyes on. I think we'll stay dry at the State Fair until 7, 730. It's after that we could start to see just a few spotty showers, but... That rain also bringing in some cooler temperatures. We're at 85 degrees in Milwaukee. Look off towards the Dell, 69 degrees at 73 in Beaver Dam, 81 in Eagle. It's not too humid, so actually pretty comfortable as you're stepping outside. But if you're headed to the State Fair, bring a rain jacket. It's not going to be a washout, but just in case, temperatures as we head towards close at 11, near 73 degrees. And there is a chance for storms tomorrow. I'll have more details on that coming up in Weather Watch 12. Wisconsin's one-day coronavirus count is at its highest level since January. The state report. 1,548 new COVID cases today. It is the third day in a row with cases above 1,000. Another three COVID patients have died. More than 60% of adults in Wisconsin are fully vaccinated. 63% have had at least one dose. The rise in COVID cases in hospitals is inescapable for those working to save their patients' lives. 12 News' Nick Bohr talks with a COVID unit doctor who calls the COVID hospitalizations heartbreaking and preventable. Milwaukee vaccine clinics like this one at the Northwest Health Center recently expanded their hours to increase access to vaccines. A doctor who works daily with critically ill COVID patients says they shouldn't wait. It is frustrating and it's sad. Dr. Ann Sheehy has been working the COVID units at the University of Wisconsin Hospital since the beginning of the pandemic. At the end of the day, there is a sense of sort of defeat and frustration that we're here again. Frustration at the steadily rising number of hospitalized and dying COVID patients okay. as the Delta variant takes a toll on the unvaccinated. We should be calling this what it is, and this is largely a preventable hospital illness at this point. And because it is such a contagious disease, they're suffering and afraid without loved ones at their bedside. There are still um, people that really get severe COVID that we can't change their course. So it's not a given that we can you know, save everybody that, that gets COVID and needs hospitalization. We've seen so much death. We've seen so much disability from this disease. It's hard to believe that everyone just doesn't want to run to get their shot. Dr. Sheehy says there are better treatments now than when the pandemic first started, but none of them are as effective as the vaccines at stopping COVID.
At the Northwest Health Center in Milwaukee, Nick Board, WISN 12 News. According to the Department of Health Services, there are now 263 patients hospitalized in Wisconsin for COVID, the most since mid-May. Hospitalizations for COVID in the state have increased 79% in the past two weeks. Today, all 10 Milwaukee County Health Officers recommend masks for all students and teachers this fall, regardless of vaccination status. That mirrors advice from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Wisconsin Department. Department of Health Services. You'll find a list of places to get the COVID vaccine and answers to commonly asked questions on WISN.com and the 12 News mobile app. The Wisconsin State Fair is back. We'll take you back live to West Dallas as people celebrate the return of this summer tradition. Plus this. I know you go all around the country and you can go anywhere. Why come back to Milwaukee? News goes one on one with rapper Ice Cube about the basketball tournament he brought to Milwaukee today. And coming up tonight at 10, 12 News has obtained the full police body cam footage of a controversial traffic stop. What new angles not previously released by police show about a bag an officer tossed into the back seat of a car. And masking up at the state fair, the CDC recommending everyone wear a mask indoors. 12 News finds out if fairgoers are listening. That's coming up tonight at 10 after, after The Hustler, right here on WISN 12. Proud partner of your Milwaukee Brewers. One call, that's all. WISN 12 News this morning, Milwaukee's number one morning news. Here's what's happening right now. With Adrian, Deanna, Lindsay, and Matt in News Chopper 12. WISN 12 News this morning, Milwaukee's number one morning news. For over 87 years, Steinhoffels has been helping families create the home of their dreams. Steinhoffels has the largest selection of in-stock name brand furniture and mattresses. Right now, during Steinhoffels Best Brands Best Prices Sale, get 35 to 50% off store-wide. Save even more when you take advantage of Steinhoffels special 60-month financing. It's the Best Brands Best Prices Sale, only at Steinhoffels and Steinhoffels.com. Why did we get her the COVID-19 vaccine for kids 12 and up? Because I miss school. To get ready for soccer season. So nothing's holding them back. Visit vaccines.gov to find a COVID-19 vaccine near you. Or call 211 to learn more. Your eyes are everything. They're how you see the world and connect with others. At Shopco Optical, your eyes are everything to us too. Which is why we offer everything to help you see better and look better. A huge selection of designer frames, convenient locations, and experienced optometrists. We're Shopco Optical. You'll see. Right now, get 50% off lenses with the purchase of any frames. Do you suffer from ED? Did you know there could be a way to relieve ED without harmful medications, needles, or surgery? Peak Performance for Men is here to help. Click or call now to treat your ED. And remember, our results make the difference. The Wisconsin State Fair is back. And WISN 12 is live with our State Fair Spotlight. I'm Derek Rose. And I'm Lindsay Slater. We're showing you what to expect before you walk through the gate. The iconic attractions, what's new for 2021, and the fair favorites you won't see this year. Plus, we're tasting Sporky's winners. Watch live for your chance to win a State Fair prize pack. The WISN 12 State Fair Spotlight. Watch live tonight at 6.30. And let's go back to Lindsay and Derek at the Wisconsin State Fair. Yeah, Patrick, thank you. A lot of people have been out here. Some of our faithful WISN 12 viewers. Say hi. Give us a wave. There we go. Can you guys hear them? There they there are. We go. <laughs> and you can see behind them so many people here at the Wisconsin State Fair. A lot of uh, easy flow through, not shoulder to shoulder, if you will. But uh, one thing that we love 
at the fair, of course, is the food. How can you not? That's why you go to the fair. Is it mm -hmm. not? Is that why, isn't that why we go to the fair? So uh, I did talk to some folks about, uh, you know, they had the alligator with the little claws, and, you know, we had cupcakes with scorpions on them, and we had some fun reactions to these, you know, exquisite foods. You had them as well? Not yet. I'm saving everything I have for these sporkies that are sitting at the table next to us. All right. Get ready so for it. So that's what you got to stay tuned for. Guys, it looks good. <laughs> Well, there, back there's to you. a tease for our special coming up at 630. We'll check back in in a little bit. Matt Salemi is flying over the fair right now. He's in News Chopper 12. How's it looking, Matt? Yeah, looking pretty good. Spin City is spinning, and so are the wheels on the roads getting in. Check it out. There is literally no delay if you're pulling in off of I-94 right now. In fact, all of the entrances have no line. The parking lots have space, but uh, really no waiting getting in at this point. So it's a nice, easy time if you do plan on heading down for tonight. And you'll find highlights from this year's fair and COVID guidelines on WISN.com and the 12 News mobile app. A treat for Milwaukee basketball fans still celebrating the Bucks. The Big Three League was in town this afternoon. 12 News' Shanae Amara spoke with the league founder, Ice Cube, about keeping the party going. It is an exciting day. We have basketball back inside Pfizer Forum, and I'm here with the person making it all happen. He wears many hats, a rapper, activist, mogul. We have the one and only Ice Cube. Hey, Welcome back to Milwaukee. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So first of all, I have to ask, what made you get into this new arena? Well, you know, I'm a big sports fan. Mm -hmm. In the summer, it's just a void, yeah. you know? If you're not into mid-season baseball or soccer, there's really nothing for you to do. So as a fan, I wish, I was like, man, I wish we had more hoops. Kids grow up playing three on three. We all played actually more three on three than five on five. So it's a very familiar game. But what they love about our game is that we've elevated it. Uh, we got the four point circles out there. So you can actually get a four points for uh, for shooting a shot. Absolutely. So I know you go all around the country and you can go anywhere. Why come back to Milwaukee? Oh, man, you know, because they still party in here because <laughs> of the championship. You know, being from L.A., we've seen our fair share of championships. So I know, like, after it's over, the city still hungers for, you know, more hoops. So it was just a perfect spot to, to bring the big three to just keep the party going. The Big Three League plays in Chicago on Saturday. Weatherwatch 12 now, Molly, more humidity tomorrow and the possibility of storms. That's right, Patrick. It's not going to be a washout. So if you have plans outside, plans at the ferry, you can still get out, do that. But keep an eye on the weather both tomorrow morning and then again in the afternoon. And really over the next three days, these are your headlines. Temperatures are above average. We're in the mid 80s to the 90s here as we head towards the weekend. Wasn't too humid today. That changes tomorrow. We have on and off storm chances. Friday, Saturday, not looking like washouts, but we have a chance for some rain that we'll just have to keep an eye on. And actually a chance for just a few showers late this evening and overnight. Beaver Dam, Watertown, Fond du Lac getting a little bit of that light rain. There's a little more organized just west of Madison. That's what we'll watch here for later this evening. But I think Milwaukee, the state fair dry until at least 730 or 8. 79 degrees in Delavan right now. Cloud are starting to build in ahead of that rain chance. Temperatures are starting to cool as well. It's 81 degrees in Elkhart Lake, looking like there's a mix of sun and clouds out at Road America. And notice this is our graphic for fire and smoke. It's predominantly aloft, although there is an air quality issue along the lake across our viewing area. And notice we have some of that thick smoke overhead, so we could see a pretty vibrant sunrise if we see those clouds hold off until after sunrise. Here's future cast at 9 o'clock. There's a few showers around. Notice it's not a washout, but I can't rule out a spotty shower as we had between about, let's say, 8 and 11. Then another chance for a few isolated showers, a few rumbles of th storm, rumbles of thunder with some storms early tomorrow. Then we'll have a break late morning into the early afternoon. But notice what happens as we head towards the afternoon and the evening hours tomorrow. Showers and storms start to develop along a front off towards our northwest. Then they move in, and I think this likely would be the biggest impact with storms as we head towards tomorrow evening. There are still a few questions with timing. Some models have these storms develop and move in as early as four o'clock. Others like this model hold it off until closer to seven. So something we'll have to keep an eye on. But if you're headed to the fair tomorrow, it's going to be warm and muggy by 11 o'clock. I think we're already in the 80s, keeping an eye on storms by three o'clock with temperatures near 85 degrees. And it may feel a little bit warmer than that by seven o'clock. Still a chance for some storms again, not a washout, but some on and off showers and storms possible as we head through 
the afternoon and the evening tomorrow. It's not widespread rain again on Saturday, but we do have a chance for some storms. It's going to stay pretty hot and sticky on Saturday. The stronger storms move to the west, but if you have plans outside on Sunday, there's a better chance for more widespread rain, bringing lightning downpours, some gusty winds. So you have outdoor plans, including the fair on Sunday. A good idea just to have a plan B. Now we do need rain right now. Milwaukee is sitting over 10 inches below average in terms of rainfall since the beginning of the year and our drought monitor still has severe drought for our southern counties. We're looking at moderate drought across much of the viewing area. As for our forecast tomorrow, high temperatures 85 degrees, a chance for rain early, a chance for storms in the afternoon. We're heating up into the upper 80s on Saturday, near 90 on Sunday with more widespread showers and storms. Rain chances continue along with the heat. Monday, we're drier but still hot on Tuesday, but we do cool down by the end of next week. A lot of eyes on that forecast with the yeah. fair underway. Molly, thank you. Dan joins us now. Dan, a big weekend ahead for a former Packers star. Yeah, Charles Woodson talks about being immortalized in the Pro Football Hall of Fame on Sunday. Plus, the Packers offense could be in for a prolific season, especially if Aaron Rodgers shows this kind of accuracy on deep throws. The latest from Green Bay next in Big 12 Sports. Hi, I'm Sharon Amara. Join us tomorrow morning on 12 News This Morning as we get you ready for day two of the Wisconsin State Fair, including all the special deals and performances, plus... The streets of Milwaukee will be filled with music and poetry this weekend. We'll tell you about the first ever busker fest and temperatures are heating up. Wake up knowing what to wear with Molly's forecast. Trust 12 News every morning. See you tomorrow. Is rain headed your way? Our interactive radar lets you know right now. Download the 12 News app. GMA tomorrow. Get ready, America, because Nelly's about to ignite your summer weekend. It's Nelly with special guests performing for you. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, sponsored by Caesars Rewards. 12 News, brought to you by Cannon and Dumphy. When you're um, in a really serious accident, I would highly recommend you contact Cannon and Dumphy. They are experts at what they do, and I would trust them explicitly. They did right by us, and we're very grateful. If you can afford to launch yourself into space, you can pay your fair share in taxes. But billionaires and big corporations have avoided paying taxes for years. President Joe Biden's plan makes the rich pay their fair share so we can cut taxes for families with children and create millions of good jobs. Tell Senator Ron Johnson to stop putting billionaires ahead of the middle class. If you can afford to joyride in space, you can pay your fair share. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape so we can help everyone stay connected for less. Right now, get up to $1,200 off any 5G phone. The choice is yours. Whether it's adapting the network for a strong signal where you work or optimizing your coverage where you play, we're always hard at work to make sure our state-of-the-art 5G network works for you. Up to $1,200 off any 5G phone with no trade-in or hidden fees. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. A nursing home promises to care for our parents as cherished loved ones. But if your parents have been injured in a nursing home, we can help. Habish, Habish, and Rotier. We fight for what's right. Oh. <laughs> Look, Mom. It's a unicycle. Oh. Cool. What is that? It's a trapper kit. Thank you. If there's one thing we know about injuries and illness, it's that they don't take nights and weekends off. Whoa. What is Moses Bars? Hmm. How to feed wild animals. Oh. That's why all nine Pro Health Urgent Care locations are open daily and offer convenient evening hours, too. A tarantula. Nice. Here you go. Thanks, Grandpa. Just walk in or reserve your spot online. Look who he's wanting this. Oh. Oh. I'm an attorney at Cannon and Dunphy, and the people that I grew up with who are now aging, if something happens to them, if they're mistreated or neglected at a nursing home, I want to make sure that I'm there to protect them and their family. It's what I do. If something like this has happened to you or your family, please call me so I can help you. 
Big 12 Sports, presented by Menards. Aaron Rodgers pointed to his bicep and then the team president Mark Murphy after hitting the net from 50 yards away today at Packers practice. Rodgers has been very sharp so far in camp, which might indicate that year three of Matt LaFleur's offense could be even better than year two, which produced the second highest scoring team in Packers history. And they led the NFL in points per game, 30 point games and time of possession. I'm expecting another record-setting year. You know, I think every year that we've gotten better, obviously. Um, we go from year one to year two, and you know, not only Aaron, but us as an offensive unit set some some really good records and kind of raised the standard of what we expect. So um, going into year three now, especially with returning a lot of the guys and, um, you know, having the NFL MVP, having Devontae, um, and have, having just the rest of the vets and guys that are um, well-established and, pretty familiar with the system and our expectations of how to run things and, and how we go about things here. And I think we are setting a pretty high standard for what we can achieve this year. Charles Woodson played 18 years in the NFL, six in Green Bay, where he won his only Super Bowl title. And on Sunday, Woodson will be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I'm excited, man. I can't wait. You know, it's, it's going to be a great, great moment. And it's something that you get to celebrate forever. So it's not one night. You know, it's not like, you know, I go in on the 8th and then it's over and I'm no longer, you know, saying I'm a Hall of Famer. No, I'm going to say I'm a Hall of Famer on that Monday, that Tuesday, the next week, the following year. I'm a Hall of Famer, man. You know what I mean? So I get to celebrate that for eternity. And what a what a what an unbelievable experience is going to be that night. And then for a lifetime, man, to say I'm a Hall of Famer. Pretty cool. And a little more than two weeks after winning an NBA title, Buck stars Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday will play for a gold medal Saturday in the Olympic final against France. The U.S. squad beat Australia early this morning, 97 to 78 in the semifinals. And the Bucks apparently have reached an agreement, which we reported earlier this week, with George Hill. Two years, $8 million. Brewers had the day off today. They play the Giants tomorrow. All right, Dan, thank you. We're just minutes away from our State Fair Spotlight special. Derek and Lindsay, what can we expect tonight? Oh, a lot. There's oh, yeah. a lot going on today. And actually, I, I have one of the, the finalists that we will be tasting. You can see it right here. This is called the Squealer. Uh, Derek, I believe this is a Belgian waffle. There's some sort of meat inside. Uh, there's maple syrup. We got bacon bits. And, of course, it's all on a stick. Isn't that some, perfect? Something infused breakfast sauce. Oh. I guess we'll be eating some of it. It's <laughs> Just a couple of pieces of bacon. Just a couple of pieces of bacon that fell off. But um, yes. Which is good. We I want you to join us at 634. Our State Fair Spotlight Special will have this and other interesting Ooh. foods from the fair. Just pace so yourselves out there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you coming up at 630. Molly, more humidity is moving in. It is. It's going to be warm and muggy tomorrow. I'm keeping an eye on a few showers off towards our west. Really, the big story is still just west of Madison. We could see a few showers later today. Our State Fair Special is Coming up next, we'll see you back here for 12 News at 10. Ashley Home Store's multi-million dollar clearance event is on now. Save up to 90% off hundreds of floor samples, scratch and dent items, special purchases, and more while they last. Shop sofas, sectionals, beds, dining tables. Everything must go up to 90% off. Only at Ashley Home Store. This is home. about our designer kids package or free lens upgrade. Wisconsin Vision. See more life. Today's time and temperature brought to you by UW Credit Union. At UW Credit Union, you'll find we have home loans for whatever home you're looking for. Big homes, little homes, first homes, second homes, and your home. UW Credit Union. Here for every you. Equal opportunity lender. 
Earn now, spend later during Blaine's Farm and Fleet's Rewards Members Dollar Days. Now through August 15th, Rewards Members earn $10 in Blaine's Bucks for every $100 spent in store. Redeemable just like cash August 19th through the 29th. Start earning now with a free $10 gift card when you buy assorted bags of Hill's Science Diet dog or cat food. These men's cat work boots are half off. Rewards Members save an extra $10. Not a Rewards Member? Sign up today and start earning Blaine's Bucks now to spend later just like cash. Take control of your child's education by enrolling in eAchieve Academy, an established tuition-free online charter school staffed by experienced Wisconsin certified teachers. We're enrolling all grade levels, including online half-day 4K. Apply today at eAchieve.com. Una llamada, nada más. Isang tawag, ganyan lang. Mukala mo wahida, hada kula shay. Chivol es solo una llamada. Halmar, nasawa. No matter how you say it, it's always one call, that's all. Ashley Home Store's biggest multi-million dollar mattress clearance event is on now. Get the lowest price in Wisconsin on doorbusters like these. Shop clearance and overstocks while they last. Pay as little as $20 a month for Tempur-Pedic. No interest financing for six years. Only at Ashley Home Store. This is home. On July 30th, 2021, WISN Hearst Television Incorporated. Licensee of WISN TV RF Channel 28, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Filed an application with the Federal Communications Commission for license renewal. Members of the public wishing to view this application or obtain information about how to file comments and petitions on the application can visit publicfiles.fcc.gov and search in WISN TV's public file. After the pandemic forced its cancellation last year, the Wisconsin State Fair is back. It's just great to be back. It's just great to be back again. What's new this year? It feels more magical than it ever has. The traditions that we all know and love. <laughs> and what's changed? The WISN 12 Live State Fair Spotlight starts right now. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Welcome. Hey, everyone. Such a nice thing to see, isn't it? It is. We want to welcome everyone watching to the WISN 12 State Fair Spotlight Special. I'm Derek Rose. And I'm Lindsay Slater. So What's yours?